Hi guys. Hi world. Chatty Dad one coming at you. I come across an article that was uh very troubling to me. And um very interesting at the same time. And I believe it has directly to do with these Google barges. Which, um, I believe they hold quantum computers on them. And, uh, you know, have just huge amounts of information and power. I also believe that it has a lot to do with artificial intelligence. Well, I know it does. And you'll understand when I, uh, when I show you. But I don't know exactly, well, yeah, I guess I do know where they're going with it, but uh, it's kind of freaky to think about, and it also goes right along in line with the whole free crime thing, as well as these guys here. how they're going to be able to interact with us how they're going to be able to communicate with us and what I'm talking about here is this article that I've come across your local call center may know more about you than your therapist okay what they're talking about here let me enlargen this uh, print so we can dig into this because this is quite bizarre oh shoot I don't know what it's done here <laughs> um, what happens is when you call the call center while you're doing this you know, if you want to do this, press 1. If you want this, press 2. Um, it detects the tone of your voice, the speed of your voice, and uh, stuff like that. Volume, tone, pauses, speed of response, and so on. It uses mathematical algorithms to interpret these features, compare them to data in this database to come up with a personality profile for you. Which, this is a corporation that has this. Now, the way things work is that government gets it first. Then, it goes from security, government, you know, um, of course, government's corporation, but it goes from, you know, security type issues, then it comes down to the other corporations. So the government has had this technology for some time. Um, All of this happens, by the way, during the first few seconds that you are on the phone. It could even be happening while you are working your way through a voice-activated menu system. Freaky, huh? What they're saying is that uh, they can match you up with somebody if you're a talkative person. It can match you up with somebody who's who likes to talk. If you want to get to the point and you're agitated and you just want plain business, it can connect you with that employee so that you're just wham, bam, thank you, sir, thank you, ma'am, have a nice day, goodbye. You know, you won't be talking about the weather, how y'all doing, any of that kind of stuff. 
but this thing is going to have a file on you on your personality and it's going to be learning all this stuff it's the artificial intelligence its data mining techniques are reminiscent of many of the artificial intelligence techniques that have been discovered and refined over the last several decades traditional artificial intelligence is usually associated with for example taking voice commands and extracting the message from words and sentences um, this system on the other hand is more like artificial empathy it takes the same stream of verbal input and it extracts information about the speaker's mood personality and interaction style that's basically the same thing that people do you know talking to each other a truly insightful person can you know read people pretty good empaths sometimes build themselves as uh, psychics you know they can tell a lot about a person by just the first little bit of conversation that they have with them well this is happening on a uh, artificial intelligence computer is doing this with you with me with all of us the government's already done it on us they have this technology on us already I'm sure they have a file on us on whether we're going to resist or not whether we're going to be cooperative or not they probably have this stuff figured out uh, I believe it's pretty freaking scary um, and, and I don't like it personally um, it says yet it seems much more creepy when a machine does it during a customer call service customer service call the deep dark secrets of your personality are only private in the sense that most people cannot figure them out easily most of the time but computers are improving the mathematical analysis is improving um, matter site is right on the cutting edge and is ready to turn your phone call into a personality test matter site will get to know you better than you know yourself and will only take seconds well you listen in on your phone conversation well it listens in on your phone conversation quietly and in the background it will examine your personality your level of empathy your attention your interaction style you won't even realize that it's there all you will know is that you enjoyed the phone call because you got along good with the person it set you up with now if this isn't scary I don't know what is this feeds into uh, like I said this feeds into um, this feeds into this it feeds into this and it definitely feeds into this I believe this is the wizard behind the curtain right here especially since Google bought Boston Dynamics and they're uh, they're going for the moon you know they're going for the gusto here but it's seriously freaky anyway I thought I would bring this to you um, you know comment what you think and uh, you know how is it gonna know you know it's not gonna know if somebody's playing it off that they feel good and they're being you know 
um, chippery when they don't feel so good. A lot of people do that just to press on and push through the day. But it's going to know us pretty good. And that to me is wrong. I don't like that at all. Anyhow, thought I'd bring this to you. This is Chatty Dad 1. God bless and good luck to us all. Boy, because uh, we really need it. <laughs> with all this uh, with all this tech, all this stuff, it's just getting very bizarre. Very bizarre. You know, I guess it could be a good thing on the other hand too. But remember, there's a balance in all things. And a thing that can be used for good can equally be used for evil. So, let's hope that they don't use this for the wrong things. Never give up your guns. Never surrender your freedoms. Use your rights. While you can, use them as much as you can. Learn what they are. This is Chatty Dad 1. Over now.